بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم now again uh, the next thing uh, there is a quick question on the virtual things like virtual labs whatever we do whether you are using the gns3 or whether we are using the evng or a uh, via viral cisco viral i'm not really good fan of this cisco viral because i have never used it it's a kind of a paid subscription which i don't prefer uh, but the virtual labs now this is this plays a very important role in your practice this is very important why because trust me if if you are going for ccnp or ccna level anything ccna not required because if you are going with ccna level just simple packet tracer will be sufficient simple lab with a packet tracer uh, with a 4 gb ram machine you can just run the labs and that will be sufficient even there also packet tracer plays an important role i'm not saying that virtual software Now the virtual software plays a very important role here because the main problem is, like I said, there are three levels. The first thing you need to understand the concepts, and then listen to the concepts, and then you know revise, and you need to do the labs. Labs is a challenge. See, the majority of the problem here lies here because majority of the institutions, especially what they do, they generally charge a very huge fees, and they have a lab. set up and they show you the lab set up and they will say that okay you will get a lab access uh, there will be a time limit while you do the course and then you have a lab access and you you, you have to utilize the labs within that specific period of time like generally how it works any training institution how it works is let's say you are doing a course for 3 months which means you have a 3 months of lab access which is something you do remotely or go to the they will give access and of course there will be a time limit on that and you have to make sure that you complete within the time frame within the time limit the restrictions so the good thing about this is you don't need to do anything you just simply connect and you have a pre built labs everything is pre built for you you just simply connect you just simply start using it so this is something very good at this point i generally say okay this is very good i'm not saying that's not really a good option but again the challenges are with this what i what i face is because majority of the time that's not sufficient most of the time sufficient even sometimes you see the labs may not work or whatever it is and most of the time you're more flexible you might be working and you don't have a specific time frame or time period to complete those labs within the time frame because the next 3 months again the new batch starts again they will you know they just push you to the next so this is something what you might also have faced because i i know the things how it works now probably what i generally do is we generally don't do the setup of all this thing we still have a setup we still can provide this kind of thing but normally i generally suggest the students rather than investing on this try to have your own setup this is very important you can have your own virtual lab setup now why because uh, most of the time you know you can say okay virtual lab setup is very complex and difficult but at the end that will be a uh, very much helpful especially in your in your learning process like this setup now one of the challenge now I'll, let me talk about the challenges first what you'll face with this because everyone as you people are doing ccnp or or whatever you know you just started using the gns3 tool or you just started using the evng tool you you start getting a lot of challenges the first challenge you face is the pc setup the pc configurations or the laptop configurations because to run these labs especially for ccnp enterprise level if you are covering n core nrc papers you need to have at least 16 gb of ram with an i3 or i5 processor this is the minimum to run these labs to run routers and switches roughly 4 to 8 routers for running router and switches in the lab scenario of course if you are doing mock labs more devices you need more space so the ideal situation will be like 32 gb with i7 processor this is something the ideal for uh, the best one we can say for enterprise and again if you are going for any even for the asa codes also this will be sufficient so there are few specific you, this this 16 gb will be sufficient for majority now many people find the challenge here only especially the setup now this is where most of the people especially in india and hyderabad here as well they have the challenge that's where 
we have this on offline kind of access uh, for the labs and all. That's the first thing. Of course, we are also uh, trying to make it uh, remote online as well uh, very soon. That is one option. Now the thing is, so if you can set up your own lab setup, this will give you more flexibility for you. Okay. So the challenge is the configuration and the second thing is the setting up the things. The second challenge is, you know, of course, we do share the images and other softwares, everything. Uh, also, we share the video tutorials to for you to refer and go through with that to set up the things. You'll find some challenges. We can, uh, based on the screenshot, we can give some assistance. But at the end, make sure that this will work. Many people drop here only, like even in my CCNP class. I'll, I'll just check with you guys as well. Because many people just stopped here. Even I, I met few people uh, recently, even when I discussed with them, they just drop here because they're having a challenge in setting up the things, setting up the things. So now, just like you have invested in, in the courses, it's really important you to invest on this uh, high-end device. Now, technically getting this configuration, and especially if you're planning for CCI level, or SD-WAN course or any Firepower course or Cisco IS. These are advanced courses. If you're planning, this is the minimum configuration you need to have. 32 GB with i7 or any other processor. And most people, minimum configuration, of course, the best configuration is to have a 64 GB RAM with i9 processor or maybe your Xeon processor or Itanium processors, these kind of things. Now, this is the best uh, configuration for the CCI level labs or any advanced labs. Now, now again, one more challenge uh, the people, the, the the students will ask is, okay, will I, if I go with a laptop, I generally have the flexibility to carry around. Trust me, laptops are not good enough because I have this configuration laptop with me, Alhamdulillah. So, but again, the challenge is it, the virtual software is, uh, because at then, you know, you just fix everything in a small, box right you fix the high-end processor high-end cpu high-end memory everything you just integrate inside one a single box and that is more compact that's not a com that's not really a recommended option of course it's quite very expensive the probably there will be some limitations uh, as well and and of course it goes very expensive uh, very expensive so instead of this you can always go for, for the refurbished servers like there are specific websites you can uh, check with uh, where you can find a, a majority of the refurbished servers, like few of them, let me, it's something like serverbasket.com, which I, which you can just refer to all. If you're based in India, again, I'm saying, uh, if you are based in uh, different regions, probably you can just look out. Now, basically, this website is just for the reference, but you can look out different websites online to look out for that. So you'll find plenty of uh, workstations or plenty of servers, typically the refurbished servers. Again, most of the labs which I show you, uh, I use the my server, Dell server, which I'm using, uh, which is roughly having around 80 GB RAM. Most of these refurbished servers are the servers which are removed from the company you know, refer this, we are technical people already. So these servers, uh, basically, they are kind of a refurbished servers where you can optimize and get these things. So this is the maximum it supports. Don't expect that, you know, this much of memory will provide you. But basically, there is a maximum RAM you can add up to. And depending upon what uh, you select, like if you're going with the 64 GB of RAM with a 1.2, TB hard disk, it is roughly around $1,000. $1,000 with a I think if you're if you're attending online in USD, roughly around one thousand USD. This uh, uh, two Intel Xeon processors, sixteen core processor. Now this is a good investment you have to make, especially if you are going for CCI level. Even you know maybe after two years, three years, you still want to go with, you still you know you still want to go to advanced topics, right? You don't stay there only. Even if you are a fresher starting up. Uh, adding some couple of years experience after two years you still want to upgrade yourself so when you have your own dedicated setup this will give you more flexibility to run the labs anytime any setup any kind of topology and save your configurations that's a good thing 
you know if i even if i provide you the racks remotely the problem is whatever the labs you do whatever the configs you save that will be gone after one month that will be gone you know i cannot keep all the configs all the files every time and that too there is a limitation see i'm not really a big fan of that uh, like i said i don't really want to set up the things uh, provide some remote racks and all that's kind of a fancy you know marketing terminology which they use generally for that now the reason is i want you to have your own setup because at the end we are network engineers we manage the infrastructure you should be in a position to manage your own server right obviously that's something what i feel that's something you have to be so probably this is kind of a rough configuration you can see uh, you will find these servers at a very low cost this is a proper investment you can make and you also have a your own laptop which you carry you can always use any connect you know there are many applications you can connect if your server is at home you can ask to power on and then uh, open up any connect and use that any connect application if you are doing it on internet or if it is in the local lan you can use remote desktop connection like i use a remote desktop connection for the labs that's something uh, recommended because you don't need because many people uh, give an excuse that you know if i have a laptop that will give more flexibility for me trust me that's not that's not flexibility we just think it's a flexibility but that will compress your you know like i said it will uh, make your option very expensive and also it's more kind of a compact which is really not uh, recommended but this servers you invest on any one server trust me it will run for at least 5 to 10 years for the next 5 to 10 years it will run for you so, alhamdulillah my server is also very old uh, i can say it's more like 7 to 8 years old which i got for 128 ram almost this much this is what i have right now uh, similar to this one the second one almost the same budget what i invested around that time but it's like running you know you still have some challenges of course uh, you maintenance kind of things that may come across one or two years later on if there is any kind of uh, like sometimes it happens you know that that is kind of a very rare kind of thing so this is one thing i recommend and of course you have to do the setup okay you have to make sure that your setup is running all these things uh, clear so make sure that you do this setup for the labs Uh, either use GNS3 and one more thing, if you if you find it easier, uh, you can also invest on EVNG license, pro license. Now this is roughly uh, around one uh, fifty or one fifty USD, somewhere around EVNG pro license. This will give a very easy option. Trust me, this is the most easiest way you do. It looks like we are investing, but if you can invest on that EVNG license per year, EVNG. Uh, pro license this is one more additional thing if you are good at gns3 you can use it for free without any any paying but if you do this with a pro license this will give a more stability for your labs because majority of these licenses like this is how it cost roughly around 200 us dollars this is again kind of an yearly license one year license this is something you can plan in the future especially if you're doing advanced courses again not required at the ccnp level uh, if you're doing sd wan or cisco or ftd or cci security or cci enterprise this is one investment because majority of the time what happens is especially even when i do my labs sometimes the gns3 labs uh, takes much cpu and the problem with evng is majority of the advanced images like sd wan images or Uh, what i said the uh, ftd images or any other cisco ice images they don't work with the free license but they work with the stable with a pro license that's how they integrated obviously they have to make money out of it as well right they have to earn as well uh, that's a simple thing everyone do that so that's how it is gns3 is good option i'm i'm very comfortable with gns3 for np level and some challenges sometimes you know i use either of this option that is one more initial investment you have to do of course the time you have to invest like i said in the previous sessions time is the one investment of course the second investment on this servers as well and you have to make sure that your setup is running it's mandatory you cannot just take it easy you know okay it's not running i have some this error because the errors will come depending upon the pc configurations like if you take this laptop you know this is the one what i'm running just a simple to show you uh if i start 
I, I cannot run this GNS3 VM here. This is the issue again. Now you have to figure out this issue and see what is the solution and then fix it, right? You cannot stop it there. Of course, I stopped it here because I don't use my laptop much for the advanced labs. That's the reason I didn't set up. But if I have that only option to do, then definitely I have to do it. Okay. So make sure that you have this virtual setup. Now, to become a CCI, this is very important, especially if you are planning to expertise the subject with the labs, with a more flexibility. And also if you're planning for CCI, this is a mandatory thing. I did three CCIs on the same, of course. CCI security, service border, and your routing switching enterprise. And especially these two, service border and ENT, complete 100% I did on this. And in terms of security, there are a few things which will not work. So 70% of the things we did on this. Of course, I had to rent some rack, uh, rack rentals uh, from the providers to practice some uh, advanced things because 70 to 80% of the things may work. But at the end, if you want to expertise the subject, this is important, even data center or any other virtual simulations, this is very important for you to do, okay?